at a magnitude 6.5 in Idaho, and there's understandably some questions about whether or not these are related to Yellowstone. Yellowstone National Park closed after USGS uncovered strange activity beneath Steamboat Geyser. Is the long sleeping supervolcano stirring? Yellowstone National Park, Wyoming. A sudden and unprecedented closure of Yellowstone National Park has left scientists, locals, and visitors worldwide stunned. The decision came hours after the Steamboat Geyser, the tallest active geyser on the planet, erupted with a force and frequency unlike anything recorded in modern history. At 7.12 a.m., Steamboat roared to life, hurling boiling water superheated. Steam and chunks of mineralized rock nearly 380 feet into the frigid morning sky. The eruption lasted almost an hour, sending plumes of vapor visible from over 20 miles away. But what caught scientists' attention wasn't just a spectacle, it was what their instruments detected beneath the surface. Within minutes of the eruption, the United States Geological Survey, USGS, confirmed the surge in low-frequency tremors directly under Steamboat's hydrothermal network. Using an array of seismic sensors, researchers detected waveforms too deep and too consistent to be linked solely to water and steam movement. The signal suggested something much more alarming, a shift in the superheated rock layers far below, possibly molten. Magma making a subtle but significant ascent. A hidden connection? DR. Mike Poland, a senior USGS volcanologist stationed in Yellowstone, described the findings in carefully measured words. What we're seeing is unusual. The seismic signature isn't consistent with shallow geothermal activity alone. We're Detecting temperature anomalies and pressure patterns that extend deeper into the caldera system than we typically observe. Advanced geophysical imaging revealed a high temperature zone expanding beneath the geyser basin, stretching several kilometers downward and appearing to connect with the upper boundary of Yellowstone's vast magma reservoir, a colossal chamber. Containing an estimated 48 kilometers cubed of molten rock. At the same time, seismic monitors lit up with over 3,200 microwave quakes in just 72 hours, all clustered under the Yellowstone Caldera Central Dome. The swarm's epicenters are scattered at depths ranging from 3 to 10 kilometers deep enough to suggest interaction with the magma chamber's outer layers. The largest swarm in decades. This seismic burst is the largest and most concentrated. In over 20 years, rivaling even the famous 1985 swarm that first drew scientists. Attention to the complexity of Yellowstone's plumbing system. What makes this event even more worrying is the combination of deep magma signatures and intense hydrothermal eruptions, a coupling that USGS records show has never been documented at this scale before. Locals in the nearby town of West Yellowstone reported unsettling experiences overnight. We heard this deep, thudding noise like distant thunder that never stopped, said Daniel Miller, a fishing guide who has lived in the area for 27 years. Then the ground felt like it was humming. My coffee cup rattled off the counter. In Gardner, Montana, residents reported sulfur smells wafting in from the north entrance, while a few hikers in the backcountry claimed to have seen steam, vents opening in areas previously dormant. 
a sleeping giant shadow. Yellowstone supervolcano last erupted about 640,000 years ago, ejecting ash across most of North America and creating the massive caldera that now cradles much of the park's iconic features. While smaller eruptions of lava and hydrothermal explosions have occurred since, a full-scale supereruption is considered one of the most catastrophic natural events possible on Earth, with the potential to send the planet into a volcanic winter Dot scientists stress that there is no confirmed sign of an imminent supereruption, but they acknowledge that the current data warrants extreme caution. A deep injection of magma into the upper crust could destabilize the hydrothermal systems and increase the risk of phreatic, steam-driven explosions, which can happen suddenly and without warning. A park on lockdown. In response to the findings, Yellowstone's entrances have been sealed. Rangers are turning away vehicles and park staff are evacuating lodges and research stations. Helicopters have been spotted delivering portable seismic units, gas analyzers, and thermal cameras to remote geyser basins. USGS field teams are also drilling shallow monitoring wells to measure rapid changes in ground temperature, gas emissions, and water chemistry. In particular, scientists are watching for spikes in carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide, gases, often released in greater volumes when magma nears the surface. Satellite thermal scans conducted by NASA's Earth Observing system have already picked up localized heat anomalies around Norris Geyser Basin. Steamboats home showing a surface temperature rise of up to 5 degrees Celsius in some areas over the past week. The next 48 hours. A USG's emergency press briefing is expected soon, where experts will address whether this deep unrest could escalate. Until then, speculation is running rampant online. Hashtags like hashtag Yellowstone Rumbles, hashtag Caldera Watch, and hashtag Steamboat Strange are trending worldwide. Some scientists warn that even if this is not the prelude to a super eruption, the combination of a volatile hydrothermal system and deep seismic shifts could still lead to localized but violent explosions capable of devastating several square kilometers and injuring anyone nearby. For now, Yellowstone sleeps behind locked gates, but under its snow-covered plains and steaming valleys, the ground is restless, something is moving in the depths, and the world is holding its breath.